the only difference you see uh, in the, between Italy and Syria that like you can do all of the things that you used to do in Syria, but the only thing is the family and your friends. The travel started after, uh, like it was in, I remember it was in June after the school ended. First of all, we went from Syria to, uh, from Syria to Lebanon. Uh, we, uh, af and after we, t we took the visa from Beirut, then we took the airplane uh, to Italy. Uh, it was hard for me uh, to leave uh, to leave my friends because uh, when we were in here, uh, when we came to here at the beginning, I was uh, the youngest person between uh, all uh, all of uh, four old people, and uh, I didn't have anyone uh, any friends or someone to uh, know, or because I didn't speak the language they spoke or didn't uh, know how to talk, like to make new friends. And uh, we didn't know any uh, Arabic people like us. It was really hard when me and my best friend left uh, e each other. Uh, like both of us went from Syria to another country. So, like she went to America and uh, in California, and I went uh, to Italy, Rome. And uh, after and, we, and it's been four years since I since I saw her or, or we've met. I find it difficulties in going to school in Italy because it, uh, the, because of the distance because uh, my school is very far away from my house. It takes me uh, two hours to go there, and uh, but in Syria I had only to cut uh, the street to go to the school. We uh, came to Torvejanica and lived in here because my aunt already lives in here and it was easier for us uh, because at the beginning uh, my dad didn't uh, work and uh, it was, it, we had some difficulties so uh, we, we are living with, our, uh, with my aunt. Italians are really nice people. Maybe if some of them, like, uh, they don't like the refugees, but uh, it's it's okay. I mean, <laughs> they are right.